What's going on guys? Today we're in front of the whiteboard and we're going to talk about Bloodshot. Okay, the last product review we did was about hostility, but Bloodshot is actually my favorite product that we make at Hostile and it wasn't even my intention for it to be part of the line originally. Uh, when we started formulating everything, we decided to go ahead and add a pump product and now it's actually become my favorite of all the products that we use. And I use it daily for my own workouts. I actually use hostility a lot less. But what we're going to do is we're going to get into how we formulated it, what's in it, the doses, and how it compares to other competitors. And we're going to start with the ingredients. Okay, now as you noticed in hostility, if you watch that video, if you haven't, go back and watch it. And you'll see that you'll get the references. But um, as you can see, we have three different categories here. In hostility, there was four. There was an energy category. That category is not here because Bloodshot is a stim-free product. So there's no energy category. We have... Focus, strength and endurance, and pump. Pump being the main, main objective of this product. So as you can see there, the bracket's pretty big. We have five different pump products in there, okay? So citrulline and arginine, you guys, arginine nitrate, you guys know are the main drivers for our pump. Glycercise is gonna help pull water into that muscle cell and really volumize things. Uh, Agmatine sulfate is gonna help arginine break down prevent arginine breakdown okay so it's going to help keep your pump longer and then we have everybody knows beetroot and they love beetroot that's also going to help us increase our pump okay so these five now everything you see here all of these numbers are all clinical doses or above so if you're looking at your own pre-workout and you're wondering what you got take a look at it compare the numbers okay because these are clinical doses citrulline six grams arginine two grams Glycercise three grams, they're either clinical or above clinical. And the importance of that is, if you're gonna make a claim like, we're gonna give you skin splitting pumps and it's gonna help your muscles swell, that's a claim you can only make if you have a study to back it up. So these numbers are not pulled from thin air. What we do is, what we did was research all the studies we could find that, and then research the claims that they made, we found the numbers and the clinical amounts that they used to make those claims, and we used them in our product. Not everybody's doing that. If you look at some other products, do they have the ingredient, but they don't have the proper dose. Okay, I see it a lot with, uh, take beta alanine, for example. If you take a beta alanine, you usually see uh, the, the clinical dose is 3.2 grams. You'll usually something, let's see something like 1.6 or something like that, okay? so. Just because the, the ingredient is in the product, it doesn't mean that you're getting the claim that it's making, okay? Or you're getting the dose that you need. So make sure you check that out on your products, okay? Citrulline, the clinical dose is six grams, and this is citrulline, straight citrulline, L-citrulline. It's not citrulline malate. A lot of people, a lot of companies will use citrulline malate, which is usually a two to one. So it means if you're using six grams of citrulline malate, you're only only getting three grams of citrulline. So we went ahead and used pure citrulline so you get the full dose, the clinical dose, which is six grams, okay? So make sure you check your products for that too. Um, all of these other numbers, clinical. So then from pump, we went on to strength and endurance, okay? You noticed in hostility, we had the same strength and endurance. We always want to be part of our workout, okay? So strength and endurance, we have betaine and hydrous and creatine monohydrate, four grams and three grams. These are both gonna be osmolites, okay? They're gonna draw muscle, they're gonna draw water into the muscle cell and help create more of a pump, okay? Creatine monohydrate's only at three grams, but it's gonna work with betaine, so it's more effective. So we didn't, we didn't go all the way up to the five, but the clinical dose is three to five. So we went on the lower end because it's working with the betaine. The betaine, we went all the way up to four grams, and I believe the clinical dose is like 2.5. So some of these are, are over clinical dose. Now from there, we went to my favorite ingredient, which if you saw the hostility video, you heard me say it before, the Pico 2. Now, some of the questions I got after the last video was, why is there no beta alanine? Beta alanine was dropped for Pico 2. Okay, the Pico 2 is a, an adaptogenic product. So basically what it means is, it's gonna help you adapt to your training. So it's gonna help, um, keep your oxygen levels higher and keep from lactic acid building up too high, okay? So it's gonna allow you to train longer, train harder, and not break down and not get tired too quickly. Now this, you're not gonna get the tingling sensation you get from beta alanine. Some people like it, some people hate it. When I added it, because I tested both, I tested the beta alanine and I tested the Pico2 for weeks on end. 
I noticed with the Pico 2, number one, it builds up a lot faster in your body. So you have to, you can use less of it before you get the full dose. Beta alanine is, is a lot more. You have to take more grams of it before your body gets the full effect of it, whereas Pico 2 builds up a lot quicker. So the one thing I noticed with Pico 2 that all of you are gonna love is I would finish my last exercise and I'd feel like I could still train. I still have more energy. And it wasn't because of caffeine because there's no energy category here. So the Pico 2 was giving me this, and I knew it was a Pico 2 because when I excluded it and I put beta alanine, I wasn't getting the same endurance. It's the endurance effect of this product, this ingredient, that is not replaceable in my opinion. Now, to be honest with you, this ingredient sucks for me because it's harder to flavor products. Um, it makes coloring the products harder even though we use natural colors. Uh, there's a lot of drawbacks to it as far as the manufacturing, but as far as the fuel for the body, nothing beats it. It's, it's hands down my favorite ingredient on any of our lists. Okay, so that's Pico 2. Taurine, also an Osmolite, we have it at two grams. Pico 2, we have it at two grams. Uh, the taurine's also gonna help you uptake water and also gonna help with that pump and strength. Um, and finally, we have focus. So I, don't want it, I didn't wanna leave people with nothing that was gonna kinda help them stay set up and focused on their workout. So we added L-tyrosine at one gram, but we also added the Hooperzine A at 10 milligrams, just to give you a little bit of added stay in the zone, right? It's nothing crazy. It's not gonna, it's not gonna keep you up at night. It's not gonna keep, make you laser focused like you're staring through a wall, but it's gonna keep you in the zone and in your workout, okay? So these ingredients, this is what you're paying for, okay? Now, add these up. That's your performance ingredients is what I call, I like to call them performance ingredients. Some people call them active ingredients, but these are your performance ingredients, the ones that are actually gonna help you in the gym. And you're gonna get 32 grams per serving. The average competitor's scoop serving is 12 grams, okay? So you see here, you're almost three times the amount. And ours doesn't have any BCAAs, it doesn't have any EAAs, it doesn't have any carb powder. And you might say, well, why is that? I'm gonna explain something to you guys. You don't need branch chains or essential aminos in your pre-workout. Okay, it doesn't make sense. You just had a pre-workout meal an hour ago, right? If I eat at three o'clock, I have my pre-workout meal, and then I take my pre-workout at, you know, four o'clock before I go to the gym, I don't need any more aminos. I just had a steak or chicken or whatever meal you ate pre-workout. There's no need to have aminos in your pre-workout. We put aminos in our intra-workout because while you're training, there's a better uptake of nutrients. So we add the aminos in to begin the recovery process and block catabolism while you're training, okay? So, we don't have any of these. Now, I'm not positive if this 12 grams and all the other products, I don't know if they have these either. They probably don't. So I would assume these are, these are a solid 12 grams. So we're talking apples to apples here. Performance ingredients, performance ingredients in both but we have 32 grams and you're only paying $9 more, okay? Now, this is a serving. So this is our serving, okay, right here. This is it, two scoops. Two scoops, 32 grams, 20 serve. So each scoop, right, is 16 grams. So half a serving is 16 grams, right? This is one serving, half a serving is 16 grams. This 12 gram scoop, that's it. That's it, that's all you get. That's all you get, you get one 12 gram scoop. That's a full serving, right? So you get 30 of these. So if I took this, 12 grams, right? I, you could take half a scoop of my product. You could take half a scoop of Bloodshot and still be four grams higher, right? So essentially, if we're gonna compare the two, right? We actually have, because it's a 20 serve, we actually have 40 servings. 
we actually have 40 servings, right? Because even at 40 servings, if you took half a scoop, which makes it 40 servings, you're still getting four grams more of active ingredient than the competitor. That's why you're paying $8 more. But when you break down the numbers, there is no way we could ever charge $39.99 because there's so much more powder in our tub, right? Like 32 grams, right, times 20 servings. So there's 640 grams in here, right? 640 grams. Then you got 12 grams and a 30 serve. What is that? It's 360 grams. So there's literally almost double the amount of powder in here for only $8 more. And because we're crushing the competition so badly in serving size, it made sense to me, okay? So, and that's how you have to look at it, okay? Take a look at the ingredients, take a look at the dosing, take a look at your scoops, your serving size, right? Your serving size or scoop size, if it's one scoop, take a look at your, uh, look at your scoop. If it's two scoops or three scoops to get the full serving, take a look at your serving size. In our case, these are the serving sizes, okay? Right? You, you could never take this if your diet and hydration and everything is on point. You couldn't take this and not get a pump. It wouldn't make sense. Bloodshot, even though it was an afterthought for me, has actually become my favorite of all of them. And uh, I stand behind it 100%. And I have yet to see another company with a 32 gram serving uh, at our price point. Um, and I'm happy to look at anything else that, that, that we could do better. We're not. I'm not saying we're the best, but we definitely put our best foot forward and I definitely stand behind our product 100%. So if you get a chance, go to hostile.com, check out all the new clothing. We got new stuff, new colors. We got new stuff coming out every week. Sign up for the newsletter and check out the products. Right now we got some bloodshot on. We kind of ran a little low on some of our stuff because demand was so high, but bloodshot we still have in stock. If you guys try it out, positive you're gonna have a great workout. So. Check it out guys, thank you. Train hard, live hostile. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.